Greetings humans and welcome to the channel. I just wanted to let y'all know that I finally got some time and so I am going to do my long awaited guide on the one, the only, Contra the Cyclone. I have seen a lot of requests from people on some of the different Facebook pages about Raid Shadow Legends on Reddit asking questions about this champion and I am going to answer those questions for you tonight. I'm going to let you know what she can do, what she can't do, where I use her, and how I use her. First and foremost, is I to kind of go over her kit just a little bit. And before I jump into that, I just want to tell you all I apologize for the delay. Work and family life has been kind of hectic. I do apologize, and I will do my absolute best to put out more of these videos in a quicker timetable than I've been able to thus far. Now back to Contra. Contra is a legendary of the Barbarian faction. She was actually my very first legendary who I fused back last year. It's hard to believe I've been playing this game for that long. Just kind of go over her skill kit for you. She is a defense based champion which is fantastic. I currently have her in a stun set and I've just got two random pieces of gear on her that I'm using for the stats. Just kind of show you what I've got going on here. You can run Contra in defense gauntlets. I personally have got her in crit rate gauntlets now, not so much for the damage, but because of this accuracy roll. Look at that, that is absolutely fantastic. Speed boots for your Contra are going to be mandatory. And I'm going to explain to you why when I actually go into her abilities. You want to have defense on the chest. I can make this thing cooperate with me. There we go. The banner, you've got some flexibility to go with. You can go with hit points, you can go with defense, or you can go with accuracy. I'm currently running a hit point banner on my Contra because I run her in almost all of my Doom Tower teams and a lot of the mobs there will ignore defense and so if you have a ton of defense but you don't have any health what's going to happen is that your tank is just going to get one shot I've got defense on on the amulet like I said if you're trying to build your Contra out to do damage and she can smack you can definitely go with a crit damage amulet or if you're having trouble keeping her alive you can also go with a hit point amulet with defense sub rolls in it. And I've also got my Contra running defense in the rings. Attack does absolutely nothing for her. Just sometimes you just go work with the gear that you got. And most of the gear I have, unfortunately, has that defense sub stat. I would much rather have something else, but hey, you can only run with what you got. Let me show you the total stats I've got on my Contra. I'm running 45,600 uh, health. Again, attack is pointless. Defense is 4,500. My goal is to get that up to around 5,000. Haven't got there yet. Working on it. Speed is 196. Crit rate is 99%. Crit damage, again, for the way that I'm running her, the way that I'm running her with my build. I'm just, uh, I'm, it's just not a priority for me. I'm, I'm more interested in keeping her alive. So as you can keep my, keep my team alive, and I'm going to show you how that works. Resistance is 140, and her accuracy is 198. Now, her accuracy is actually low for the level 20 and up dungeons, as well as her Doom Tower. But, this is one of the things I absolutely love about Contra. I'm going to kind of go into her kit for you now. I'm going to start off with the Aura. Accuracy in all battles by 60. You stick her in your lead position on your group, she's got you covered. She will help you fill, uh, fill in that accuracy gap. Her A1. It actually does hit, again, pretty hard. She can do some damage if you build her that way. Attacks one enemy two times. Each hit has a 40% chance of stealing one random buff from the target. 
I've got my contract fully booked out. And on my account, I do not have an AOE stripper. That's one of the reasons why Contra is in pretty much all of my teams, because I use her to steal those annoying counterattacks or shields from the Valkyries and the other kind of um, champions that you're going into in the, in the Doom Tower and in the dungeons. Her A2. Now, Contra only has two active skills, so there is an argument that can be made you could run her in a reflex set, me personally, I'm not. As y'all can see, I've got her running in a, in a stun set, and this is why. She attacks all enemies three times. Each hit has a 50% chance of placing one of the fall one of the following debuffs for two turns: block buffs, decrease attack, decrease speed, weaken, decrease accuracy, or a heal reduction and these are all the big versions of these debuffs now one of the ways that Contra is really kind of unique is that with her her passive ability she cannot place weak hits when it comes to her debuffs so what that means in English you take her against a spirit affinity mob or champion if there's any other you know, forces it, force champion, you have a chance of your ability being resisted. Contra does not have that problem. She cannot place a weak hit on her debuffs. I'm gonna go ahead and read over this passive for you re real quick. And this is one of the things that makes her so incredibly important for me and on my account. And if you have her, it's gonna help make her really important on yours as well. Decreases each enemy's accuracy by 10 for each debuff they're under. This champion will receive 4% less damage for each debuff on the attacker. He heals this champion by 1,250 hit points each time a debuff expires on an enemy. Has a 75% chance of placing a provoked debuff for one turn on enemies under five or more debuffs at the start of this champion's turn. So you put her in a team that's going quick. You have some turn meter manipulation. You can slow the enemy down. You have her going faster, running with an, running with an apothecary, what have you. Running with a defense down, which you're gonna be doing anyway. You're gonna be landing a ton of provokes and I'm going to show you how this works. And because of the way that her passive works in this damage mitigation, she is the perfect off affinity tank and i'm going to show you all all that stuff on this video just kind of jump in show you the masteries i've got going for now you have different flexibility again with, when it comes to building out your contra if you want to build her for damage you go on the offense tree and you see i have you see i've got that i've got that going on but if you want to build her for damage you go down here to War Master on the bottom left. I didn't do that. I want to get some damage out of Contra, but she's not the main damage dealer on my team. Her job is to keep the damage dealer alive. And so that's why I've got her going out, going down here with her defense. Going to with Defiant. I'm going with Improved Parry. The reason I'm doing this is because she's taking those provokes, she's gonna be taking a lot of those single target hits. So being able to mitigate even more of that damage, in addition to her passive, is just going to help me keep her alive longer. Bloodthirst heals an enemy, uh, heals her by 10% of the max HP when they kill an enemy target. If she gets a killing blow, great. She gets another free heal. And if debuffs are on the mob that she, on the on an enemy champion when it dies, those debuffs they expire because the the champion they're on is gone. It's dead. She will, she'll be healed by those debuffs no longer being in play as well. Delay death, again, looking for more mitigation. Retribution, I'm going this way because, again, I want Contra stealing the enemy's buffs. This way, when she procs a counterattack, she is going to give me another opportunity to steal those buffs. And because I am running her in a stun set, 
I did finish this off in Fearsome Present. And so because I've got Contra running in the stun set, and because of her passive with the Provoke, it's going to give me another 5% chance to make that work. So Contra has an 80% chance of landing her Provokes, and she also has another 5% chance of landing her stuns because of the stun set that she's currently in. So let me kind of jump right on in here. Let's... Let me take her into a campaign for y'all real quick first. Now, Contra can do campaign farming. She's definitely not a world-renowned campaign farmer, but she can do it. Whenever you are, if you're going to try to farm with a Force Affinity Champion, instead of farming 12-3, which is what you would normally be doing, you're going to want to farm 12-6 because you'll be facing mostly spirit affinity champions and Contra's just going to be able to kill them a little bit faster than what she could do on 12-3 also 12-3 does give you more silver per kill or per you no know, per successful run but 12-6 will actually give you slightly higher experience just go ahead and show you all how this goes again she is not a speed farmer but she'll get the job done So right there, you're able to see those uh, those mobs, those champions, their spirit affinity, doesn't matter. Contra's still labeled to land those debuffs. She is the, and right there, she has stole the speed buff, if you saw that. And there we go. So this is 36 seconds, again, not a... Not a speed farmer, but she can get the job done. And now, I'm going to take y'all into some of the different dungeons. I'm going to show y'all where she's really known for first, which is Spider's Den. I have not unlocked the new spider levels. I just really haven't had any desire to. I can do it. I just haven't. To be honest, just been being lazy and just haven't cared. So let me switch over here to my regular team that I use. Here we go. Let me kind of show you how this team and explain to you the setup. Contra's in the lead. She's got that accuracy aura. Got Tayrail from my defense down. Running uh, Skyle of the Drakes for the AoE stun. So have more chances of stunning the spiderlings. She also has a passive heal. Have apothecary for speed and for spot heals. And cold heart to do what cold heart's famous for, which is blowing up spiders. Turn this down just a little bit, y'all. There goes Tayrell, and if y'all have Tayrell, congratulations, he's an absolute beast here, love that guy. The defense down, the turn meter manipulation, the decreased attack on his A1, he pairs so well with Contra. And right there, you see the provokes are procking on the spiderlings. It doesn't matter, because as you can see, the spider is spirit affinity. Contra is force, she is going to be the natural target. This is what's called off affinity tanking. So even even if say she was let's just say for example we're doing Spider 25, which is magic affinity. With all these debuffs I have going out, Contra would still be tanking them, even though she would be the strong affinity for that matchup. Rail doing this thing, we got more provokes going off. You see all those passive heals going on. 
as the debuffs expire, either as spiderlings die or whenever they move and the debuff ticks. Doesn't matter, Poncho gets healed. She goes again, landing the stuns from the stun set. Skyle is doing what Skyle does. Let's see if we can keep the spider from getting a turn. If we can, this will be a very quick run. If she gets a turn, it'll be just a little bit longer. But as y'all can see, this run is in no jeopardy at all. Got a ton of control. Spider did get a turn there. That's unfortunate. What can you do? currently building out a second cold heart once I get it to level 60 and get mastered out probably sub her in to where apothecary is and then I'll just use them both just to blow up the spider now, and speaking of the second cold heart to be honest it's probably the biggest reason why I haven't pushed on to spider 25 I just recently got Drexthar, and with the nerf to max hit point champions, just the, the amount of time it would take to beat them down the way that I'm doing here, it's just not worth it to me. Once I get Drexthar built out, that would be an entirely different story, but it is what it is. Right there, you just got, miss I got those extra provokes. Mama Spider's almost dead. And Contra, if you build a team around her where she's going quick and you're able to land, lay down the debuffs, she can tank every wave of Spider. I mean, she can absolutely do it. Again, because, that's all because of her passive. She can't get the weak hits. She, she can't do it. Which is absolutely amazing. Look at, look at all the healing. There we go. So, again, not speedy fast. Four minutes, 12 seconds in. And, uh, hey, I will keep this. We got a speed roll. I'm trying to get out of my five star gear, but with hit point banner, with hit point percentage and speed. Uh, yes, please. So now, take y'all into Dragon's Lair. And again, it's just like with Spider, she can play anywhere. It honestly does not matter. Let's see. Yeah, let's do Spider 24. Why not, right? Let's go ahead and swap out some champs. I was doing, I was cooking some food in here earlier. Go ahead and run a defense down. Let's go get Tay Rail. Now, if you are trying to get damage out of your Contra, it's a good idea to run her with a defense up. Maybe I should go ahead and try and do that now. Let's go with Osley and Mage. Where are you hiding? There it is. Turn off auto. I'm gonna turn this down to 1x speed so that way y'all are able to see. So let me explain the team for you here. So it's not incredibly free to free to play. I apologize, but being Dragon 24, I don't want y'all to be here all night. So I'm just trying to go, just go for efficiency. Skyle's a daily login love reward. You get her after six months. I'm going to go ahead and open up with a stun. And we stun three of them. Mausoleum Mage. He has a defense up and increased crit rate and a block debuffs. Don't really care about any of that. I just want to get that defense up because both Tayrail and Contra are 
defense-based champions. So they're going to hit a little bit harder. Let's go ahead and get some hit point burns out with Ninja. And let's do Contra's A1 first, shall we? Now again, her her normal hits can they can get weak hit. Actually, because this is a weak affinity, let's just do her A2. Right there. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm just going to put this on over into auto. Let's go ahead and speed it up a bit. So you see right there, she's got the weak hits. She got the stun off the stun set. So I have got all of the crowd control you could possibly want with this. If you don't have a Skyle yet, run Bellower in a stun set. If you don't have Mazali and Mage, you run any other champion that has a defense up. Mark is a rare barbarian with the big version of the defense up, which is fantastic. I have a good view of the side there. I'm not sure what's going on. There we go. Now y'all can see what's going on. As y'all can see, the enemies haven't got a chance to even go yet. And this is about how it's going to go on the next run as well. The only damage dealer I've got in this team is Ninja. In fact, I will go ahead and I'm going to cut this right here. I'm going to take y'all to the end and I'll show y'all the actual uh, killing blow with the dragon. And then I'm going to do a more free to play team with Contra as well. And I will do that in Dragon 20. And we are back. As you can see, the dragon is almost dead. This is not a speed run by any stretch of the imagination. And I do realize I'm using some epics here. Again, I apologize. I just wanted to show y'all how Contra can off, affinity, can off affinity tank Dragon 24, Ice Golem. It honestly doesn't matter. Let's see what we got here. And five star with attack, crit damage, hit points, and defense. Nah, uh, sell it. If it, had, if it had speed on it, I would have kept it. But with that, nah. Okay, so let's get our team put together here real quick. We'll leave Contra in the lead. Again, she doesn't really even need to be. Just rock her in there for the accuracy aura. So let's do War Maiden for defense down. Let's do Apothecary for speed. Let's do Reliquary Tinder for a res just in case someone ends up dying. And then we will go with Frozen Banshee. And let's let's do this. Again, if you're gonna try and get any damage at all out of your Contra, you would run her with a defense up. I'm not particularly worried about that, so we are just going to go with a team of rares with her. She's the only control we have on the team. You can see we got the we got the stuns from the stun set. Really like Quarry Tinder is doing her thing. In a perfect world, my contra would be just a little bit quicker, but just like the all work with the gift we got. So right there you see where Contra just stole that speed buff. Stole another one. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Hot Perry's doing his thing.
If I brought Kale, this would probably be going quite a bit faster, but you know, everyone likes Frozen Banshee. She is one of the best rares in the game. She is a clan boss and monster. If you have her, congratulations, you're going to run her pretty much everywhere. See if we can get some provokes up. see here so you can see all the debuffs you got lining up there look right there we just got three provokes if I was running Kale instead of Frozen Banshee because of his weak poisons and because of his poison nuke that would just give me more debuffs to play with ability to line up more provokes but y'all are getting an idea you build a team with some debuffers around Contra, and the enemy just don't get a turn. Defense down. Contra didn't land any debuffs on the spider that time. Spider. Spider on the brain. Sorry about that, folks. The dragon. That's a dragon, Putin. It's not a spider. It's a dragon. War Baden says she doesn't want to get left out of the party. She's laying in some weak poisons with her A1. Contra just now got the attack down. Actually, think about it. I think Contra laid a attack down on her first AoE on the previous round. So I apologize about that. I was straight up wrong when I said she did not land any deeps. Be about a five minute run. Frozen Banshee's doing her thing. There we go. So, contrary to 820,000 damage. And Frozen Banshee did 1.8 million against the boss. War Maiden says, I cannot get beat up by a defense-based champion. And she brings in 862,000. And Apothecary and Reliquary Tender bring up the rear and supply us with the heals, which is fantastic. And I'll keep this and see if we get a speed roll on it. Well, y'all... I think I will stop it here. I could show y'all an ice golem, but it would basically be just like what y'all just now saw with with Dragon 24. She can off affinity tank. She can face tank the mobs. You build a team around her. It's going quick. That's able to lay on debuffs. As soon as Kanja comes around the start of her turn, if a if a enemy champion has five or more debuffs up, they're automatically provoked. She's going to keep your squishy members of your team alive. And if you're running low on accuracy, put her in her in your lead, 
and she will give you another 60 accuracy just as a thank you for bringing her along for the party well i hope that y'all enjoy this and again i just really do want to just want to thank y'all very much for coming by i hope you enjoy the channel hope you enjoyed the video if you did uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the content uh throw me a subscribe to this very small channel and every little bit helps and this is putin bot and thank you very much for coming by you have a good one and goodbye